In this video, I want to help you understand what does it really take to be a streamer? What skills do I need and what struggles am I going to have to put up with? And to help you understand that even if you don't have those things, why you shouldn't be discouraged, but actually why you should be excited. Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Susie and I've had the privilege of be creating content on the internet and Twitch since 2014. During the recording of this video, that's about seven years. And after only one year's time, I had the honor to actually make content creation a full-time career to provide for myself and for my family. And in this series, How to Win as a Streamer, I wanna do my best to equip you with some of the experience and wisdom that I've gained so that you can start winning in your streaming career, whether you're doing it as a hobby or trying to make it a full-time career. So I wanna encourage you, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and even let me know in the comments below what are some topics and questions that you have about streaming but lastly I want to encourage you to join me in my live stream twitch.tv slash Suzy live I stream Tuesday through Saturday starting at 10 30 a.m link in the description below in this series how to win as a streamer I want to do my best to equip you with all the ins and outs of what you're going to need to know but the thing is that most people when wanting to learn how to stream, they only fo focus on the hows or the whats. How do I do this? How do I work this program? What equipment do I need? And we're gonna cover that in this series, but I wanted to talk about something more important first. That's why in part one, episode one of this uh, stream series, I talked about how to find your why. How do you find that passion and the reason why you stream, the thing that will actually keep you pushing through through the most difficult moments when you wanna quit. So if you haven't watched that, I wanna encourage you to click on the card or in the description below to check that video out. But today, I wanna to talk about the who and really answering the question, do I have what it takes to be a streamer? And I want to I really give a disclaimer here that this topic specifically really entails for those that are looking to make streaming a full-time career. Like if you're just looking to stream as a hobby with a few buddies and just looking to laugh and have a good time, but you don't really have any care in the world if it ever goes anywhere, if you make tons of money, or even if you make any at all, then the reality is that most rules of streaming won't actually apply for you. And here's why, because if you're doing it as a hobby, the most important rule is, is it fun? Like if your hobby isn't fun for you, it's time to find a new hobby, find something that you enjoy doing. But if you wanna make it a full-time career, there's some things you're gonna need to ask yourself. And here's the big question, do I have what it takes to make it as a streamer if I wanna do this full-time? I wanna really break this topic into two videos and two topics. And today I wanna to answer two questions, first in this video, and the next one I'll answer the next question. And those two questions are, am I able to add a positive? And the second video, keep her out for the next one, is am I able to deal with the negative? Let's talk about the positive one. And I wanna center our attention around the idea of value. You have to understand what Twitch is. You have to understand that Twitch is the entertainment industry. That's just what it is. And so when it comes to the idea of value, you need to ask yourself, can I offer positive entertainment value. I want to be clear. Every single one of you as a human being, I believe you have value. I believe that you matter. And I believe that you can add value. Every single one of you in whatever way that might be, you have the opportunity and the giftings to impact the world around you and to add value to others. But if you want to become a full-time streamer, you need to ask yourself, can I add entertainment value. And I wanna break down three topics of what I really believe that you're gonna to need to be able to have. You don't need to have them all, but you gotta have at least one of these things to really be honest with yourself and answer like, can I add entertainment value? The first way that streamers add value, some people do this, some people don't, but one of those ways is through the value of personality. This is those streamers that you might find people that are hilarious, people that maybe are really witty, people that maybe are really good at carrying a conversation, but they add some sort of personality value. The thing about streaming is you have to understand that you are solving a problem. In my opinion, that is the solution of success in itself. The ability to effectively solve a problem. And when it comes to being a personality streamer, really the problem that you're solving for a lot of people are things like the problem of boredom, the problem of people want more laughter, the problem of people are feeling negative but they want to start feeling positive. And that might happen a lot through a personality streamer. Let's take Tim the Tapman. Tim the Tapman is hilarious and he helps solve the problem of boredom for a lot of people. He helps solve the problem of boredom he does it very well, he does it very often, and he does it to a lot of people, which is why Tim the Tapman is obviously successful, but he's very much a personality streamer. Now, don't get me wrong, he's also really good at video games, but he's also not Shroud, he's cracked out of his mind. Tim is very much a fantastic, 
personality streamer and people watch him because they love his personality. And this could be a wide variety of things. It could be done through humor, like I said, through wit. Some people just are really good at just carrying conversation. They can just really make things sound better because that's their personality. Some people have a contagious laugh and that part of their personality draws people in. Some people have a really cool voice and people like listening to that. They find it exciting, they, it's, they enjoy being around it. And some people just overall have a very enjoyable personality to be around that just invokes good emotions out of people. It evokes joy, it evokes just some chill vibes. Some people are just really enjoyable to be around. They can captivate a room. And those personality streamers, they are solving the problem of, like I said, things like boredom, people looking to smile, people looking to feel better. But the reality is that those people, they know I am adding entertainment value and I am solving solving a problem for a certain group of people. And that's what makes them successful. And that's what makes them being able to offer something of value in the area of entertainment. Another way that people offer, uh, offer entertainment value is educational streamers. Now this would be people like Cypher PK, who Cypher PK is really, really good at Fortnite, but honestly, there are a million Fortnite streamers out there. The reason people love watching Cypher PK is he is really good at getting his knowledge into you. He's really good at articulating and teaching and educating you on how to actually be better at Fortnite. Let's talk about Harris Heller, one of the most well-known people in the world right now that teaches other people how to stream. He is an educational content creator that is helping you learn a certain skill. There might be people who maybe do art streams, but they're not just painting, they're teaching you how to paint. They might be teaching you how to start a business. They might be making YouTube videos or live streams about how to do something. They are providing entertainment value through the art of education. And for you as a viewer, the problem is, I don't know how to do something that I need to learn how to do. And so what's the solution? finding a content creator that solves that problem. But the reality is that those educational streamers, they need to be honest and ask themselves, do I have what it takes to educate people if that's what I'm looking to do? They gotta be knowledgeable. They gotta really know what they're talking about and they gotta be able to articulate in a way that's clear and concise for people so that they can actually accomplish that goal. But they gotta be honest with themselves and ask themselves the question, every person can add value but can I add entertainment value? The third way that people add entertainment value in the internet is through just skill, right? Education could also be the avenue where you're teaching people a skill, but when I say skill-based content creators, I'm talking about people who, they might not be known for having a super awesome personality, they might not be known for interacting with the chat, and they might not be known for even teaching you how to be as good as they are, they might just be known for being cracked out of their minds, having an insane amount of skill, and that is just enjoyable to watch. To be honest, these are my favorite streamers to watch. Everyone has a different preference, but for me, I'm actually not looking for someone to make me laugh because I've already spent my whole day laughing with my amazing community. We had a good time. Am I, if I am looking for education, it's because I'm trying to learn something specific like how to fix my washing machine, right? But if I am looking to get better at a game, my favorite thing to watch is just watch someone who's cracked out of their minds, super good. I'm not concerned if they're reading the chat. Uh, I know that they're probably not gonna thank my sub right away because they're in the middle of a ranked game, but I just wanna sit back and watch you click heads. And there's something just satisfying about watching it. But if you wanna be a skill-based streamer, you need to ask yourself, do I add entertainment value through my skill? And you gotta be honest, like, Am I actually good enough? And this is important because no matter what category you fall in, but especially the skill-based one, you gotta be honest with yourself and maybe even ask some other people, am I really as good as I think I am? Or do I just think that I'm really, really good? Because you have to make sure, if you wanna be a skill-based content creator, you gotta make sure that your skill is top-notch. Whatever it is that you want to be as a streamer, it doesn't matter which one of these you have, but you do have to ask yourself, do I have something? Do I have something to add value through the art of entertainment? 
And then if I were to give kind of a bonus fourth one that applies to all of these, not only do I have personality or education or skill, but what makes me unique? Because the reality is all content creators are relatively doing the same thing. If you're a personality streamer who's funny, you're probably doing something very similar as another personality streamer who's funny. If you're giving education, you're probably not the only person on the internet educating people how to do something. And if you're really good at a game, you're not the only one who's good at that game. So what makes you unique? Everybody needs to find about themselves something that is unique about them that they can add value. So for example, for me, right? At the end of the day, I'm doing the same thing a lot of people are doing. I'm playing a game and reading the chat and interacting with people. That's literally live streaming in a nutshell. So what makes me unique? I have a weird little quirk about me that if you're brand new to the channel, don't know me. Hi, my name is Susie and I have an obsession with penguins. Okay, get out of here. The thing is, I love, 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 love penguins. I love the way they look. I think they're hilarious and I think they're just hilarious because they waddle, right? It's a weird thing about me. And so when I first started my stream, I thought about making really there like a penguin theme in my channel. So you can see it, it's my logo, you can see it on my wall. I love, love, love penguins. But I wanted to really make something a little bit further than that in terms of uniqueness. And so if you've ever watched my live stream, you'd probably know, and if you don't, it's kind of weird, but unique, that when I get donations on my channel, I literally run as fast as humanly possible, and I put on a full-blown, full-body penguin suit, and I dance like a maniac, and I can put that penguin suit on. Literally, I've practiced it so much, I can literally put it on like three seconds. It's crazy fast. People are like, how in the world does he do that? So it's not only unique because I'm a grown man <laughs> dancing in a penguin suit, but I'm unique because I can do it ridiculously fast, and like, n like most people, maybe no one, I'm not sure, is doing it on the internet and it makes me unique. And the reality is some people think it's super cringe, but so many people think it's super hilarious. But regardless, it's one of the many things that makes me unique. And so you need to find what makes you unique. We have to have something about yourself that's gonna make you stand out, because right now, content creation and live streaming is just so oversaturated that you need something that makes you unique and is gonna make you stand out. And you need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, do I add entertainment value? Twitch is the entertainment industry, so you need to find a way that makes you entertaining. And the reality is I want you to understand that if you don't find yourself to be an entertainer, that is okay. The reality is that people who can't sing well aren't bad people. Like no one would ever say like, wait, you mean to tell me that you're responsible, you're a great father and husband and making a difference in the world, but you can't sing? You suck at life! Like, no! Like, if you can't sing, it's no big deal. Like, it's not a problem for most people if they can't sing. But it is a problem if that person who can't sing is trying to become a professional singer. And the reality is that same principle applies to live streaming and content creation. And if you are trying to become a full-time professional entertainer, whether it's through personality, through education, or through skill-based content, you need to ask yourself, and maybe even ask the loved ones around you who will be honest enough to tell you the truth, do I have what it takes to add entertainment value? Remember, you can all add value in some way in the world, but if you wanna be an entertainer, you have to be able to add entertainment value. And I wanna encourage you with this, that there are so many people on the internet and they're not asking themselves this question. And I love you enough that I wanna save you thousands of hours and thousands of dollars chasing a dream to only then find out that for some of you, you weren't chasing a dream. Actually, you were chasing a fantasy. And what I wanna do is equip and empower you to be able to get you out of a mindset of chasing something that was never intended to you so that you can start chasing what is intended for you. I don't want you to spend years chasing the wrong dream. I want you to be fulfilled. I want you to live out your purpose. But the truth is, not everyone is meant to be a streamer and that is okay. It doesn't make you less than other people. It doesn't make you worthless. And it doesn't mean that you can't add value. It just means that you're gonna add value somewhere else. And so I challenge you, get honest with yourself. Instead of just saying, I'm at the bottle, bottom of the battle of Twitch because I haven't gotten lucky or I haven't got my big uh, break or no one has truly you know, found out how awesome I am, I'd also challenge you to ask yourself, 
Am I just trying to add value in the wrong area? And should I try adding it somewhere else? And I promise you, if you'll answer yourself that question honestly, one of two things will happen. You will either realize, you know what? I'm gonna go start chasing the dream that I'm really supposed to live out. And through that, I'm gonna make a difference. I'm gonna impact people. And instead of always feeling that what I'm doing isn't working, I'm gonna finally find something that does work, that I find fulfillment and that I love. And so you shouldn't be discouraged if you don't think you can add entertainment value. You should be excited because that means I get to add value in another place. I just gotta find out what it is. And the second thing that answering that question will do for you is it will empower you. Because if you feel like you do have the ability to add value through entertainment, then there is nobody in the world that can take that away from you. That means that when your sub count is down, that means that when your view count is down, and that means that after one year of continuing to grind and you still haven't made your big break, that means that no one can convince you because you know, I was born for this. I was made to create content and I do have what it takes because I've been honest with myself and I just gotta keep pushing. I just gotta keep trying. And eventually my hard work plus my gifts and talents to add entertainment value will allow me to accomplish my dream and take my dream to become a reality. And so friends, I really hope that you taking time to answer this question, do I have what it takes to be a streamer, has been a huge encouragement to you. And I wanna challenge you to keep your eyes open because in the next video, I wanna answer the second part of that question. Not only can I add a positive, but can I deal with the negative? I really hope you've been enjoying this series. And if you are, do me a favor. Hey, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up. And again, let me know in the comments below, what other topics do you wanna see me cover in this series? But also come hang out my live stream, twitch.tv slash Suzy Live. Again, I stream Tuesday through Saturday, link in the description below. And friends, I cannot wait to keep making some content for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending some of your time with me. I appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one.